All right guys, December 26th, the day after Christmas, got me another fox. Pretty stoked about that. You're okay. Hey, you're okay. Awesome. We will take him. All right guys, this is why I always set doubles. Always set doubles. I had a flat set here. My trap is right here. I don't know how this guy didn't get caught. My trap's right here. He dug out. I had two scent holes right there. He dug them both out. Took a poop. Went on with himself. Well, I didn't have any bait there. If you come on right down here, I had a dirt hole. And you can see we got him. That's why you always set doubles. You never know what's gonna happen. You know, had I only had that one set right over there, I'd miss this guy. So, always set doubles, guys. It pays off. All right, guys, December uh, 31st this morning, we caught us a nice coon. Uh, well, all we got here is, you can't really see it now because of this burn circle. Right behind that coon, there's a trail, and it meandered on through all them weeds and stuff. But uh, we also have this other trail here. I don't know if you can faintly see it, it's raining pretty good this morning. But it goes on down along there. We've got 220 set right there along that trail, but the creek's up, it's up and flowing real good. We got a lot of rain last night. So uh, these coons, probably tonight and tomorrow, they're going to be running this high bank. So we're going to go ahead and leave these couple dog proofs here and uh, hopefully come back and pick something else up. Alright guys, December 31st still. Looks like this guy kind of got himself in a pickle. What are you doing? You're the guy who's been setting my traps off, aren't you? Uh-huh. If we come across anything else, we'll get back. Yep, that last rainfall was a doozy. She's coming out of her banks. Right in through here is a feeder ditch. That water right there is easily that little trench right there is at least 10 foot deep. At least. She's coming out of her coming out of her banks. Hell just out there in the main creek, that's probably shit. I know that high bank right over there. I don't know if you can see where that tree's sticking out in the water. Over there, that <laughs> That just the wall of the creek is probably 12, 13 foot high, I'd say. So, yeah, we, we got some water running through here. All right, guys, I haven't caught anything over here in a while, but you can kind of see these tunnels. I had a 220 there and I caught a possum, but uh, I noticed all these tunnels going under all this honeysuckle. So, I put a 220 there, I caught one possum. And I moved it to a different spot. Put this 220 there. I caught two there. Put this 220 now. I mean, look how close these are together. I put this one here. I've caught that little guy. I've caught three possums in this trap. I also got another 220 right here. Nothing's gone through it. Uh, looks like we got a coon over here. Awesome. We'll take it. Nice furred up coon. We will take him. If we come across anything else, we'll get back. All right, guys, beautiful morning, January 3rd. 
Got us a coyote in the same spot we was catching them fox in. Got a nice, nice catch on him there, well above the, the pads and his foot still on the pan. Awesome. Landowner will be happy whenever he sees this. All right guys, January 3rd still. Looks like we got us a nice big board tune. Oh, he just got out of the trap, are you kidding me? Wow. What's the chances of that? All right guys, as you can see, we got a big dump of snow the other night and the coyotes have been running this like crazy. I got a set right over there. They worked, but uh, all my traps were under snow and I was kind of busy, but you see they've been following the four-wheeler path that I've been using, but uh, I got a set right in here. I'm gonna try to unbury it today and see if I can't uh, get it located and I'm gonna remake it. But uh, those are actually deer tracks right there. Here's some coyote tracks. You can see he came over here and worked my set. Let's see what's going on here. It almost looks like we had a miss if we even got him. He, uh, there's my sheep's wool for my bait. But yeah, he definitely sat here and dug her out. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and remake this. I'll be back. All right, guys. As you can see, it took me about 20 minutes to find my set. You know, I, <laughs> there it is right there, and I started right over here. God, it took me forever. But I finally found it. I mean, look at this. If this don't scream eye appeal, I don't know what does. I mean, this place is just trashed. But uh, you can see kind of how much snow we got. We got probably... At one time we had seven and a half inches fresh dump snow, but uh, it's kind of been melting a little bit. And uh, it took me forever to find my set, like I said, so the trap would have fired, but I mean, it took them forever to find the damn thing. So uh, I went ahead and just reset it and I ran out of wax dirt, so I had to bust my grass out. And so we got her blended in pretty good now. So, uh, we'll let her soak and see if we can't catch anything. I will be back. Alright guys, uh, we're doing a little trapping in the snow still. Really don't know how much longer I'll be doing this. Just because it's such a pain, but I uh, figured I'd kind of show you what I'm working with. Uh, this little patch here, that's maybe about a 60 to 80 acre patch of timber there. And it butts up to all that big timber you see out there you know way in the back back there all that funnels down to that point there we got all these wide open fields i mean wide open fields uh there's some big timber back over there that's just a little tree line right here coming into this tree line and i got this one big tree here at the end of this point well i got a set here and I actually had caught one here and uh, I pulled traps for a few weeks and then I came back out and decided to reset this. Well, while my traps were gone, they came in and literally just dug the hell out of that hole. That was a, about an inch and a half hole at first. I got an old piece of railroad tie as a blocking back there. But, uh, I mean, as you guys can see, that set sticks out in this open snow. But uh, I noticed the other day when I came through, I always take this four-wheeler trail here. There's a big old brush pile right there. They hunt around a lot. But I always take the same trail in. And I noticed the other day that uh, it was actually yesterday. Looks like we got some deer moving through here last night. There's a bunch of coyote tracks. You can see them, you can see them here. They're kind of worn out. That looks a little fresher there. I mean, there's coyotes running all over out here. 
I just can't get them to step on this on these traps in the snow. There's deer tracks there, but and this is look at all these coyote tracks. You know, and he's walking on down there and walking down that corner would be my guess. But uh I mean they're just they're coming up to the sets. I mean all these are coyote tracks right here. But I noticed they kept getting to the edge of my four-wheeler tracks. And uh, they aren't really wanting to walk in them. They were walking in them the other day. But see this one, he totally skirted. Here's the four-wheeler trail. Well, somebody did walk in it. There's a track right there. But he got up to the four-wheeler trail and then started skirting. And then some big tracks. And see, he skirted it all the way down. You can see the four-wheeler trail here. He skirted it and then ended up meandering on that way. But I'm gonna hop on the wheeler over here by this brush pile. I got a couple sets. And I just, I can't believe I haven't caught anything out here yet. sorts of coyote tracks over here hunting around this and them are older tracks but uh they're all hunting around this big brush pile you know, there's some tracks there heading on down and around but uh i'll come over here and show you guys these couple sets i got made and there's a big ditch running right through here a little drainage ditch Seems like they run it quite a bit. I mean, look at all these tracks down in here where they're crossing. They're hunting around the edge of this big brush pile here. You can see one of my sets there. And we got this one over here and they've been coming up and looking at them but they just will not stand on that fresh dirt and I've sifted snow over it to try to blend it in and with that wax dirt that snow will just melt and it will not stay on there but you can see he keeps coming around and he's trying to work the back of this I don't know why but uh there isn't any tracks in there that I can see but we got this set here, we got one right up over there. That one's been worked a lot. Just haven't caught anything in it yet. I can't, I don't understand why. I mean, the other day before I remade this, this one was actually all the way under snow and the coyotes found it and he dug it out. But, uh, I mean, you can see he's getting up behind it and trying to work it from the back for some reason but uh we got another set to check and we're gonna go see i don't think there's anything in it but we got a couple more sets actually i got another farm i gotta go check but if we come across anything i'll be back all right guys i think these coyotes are on to me this one's got a really weird stride i don't know if you notice but every few steps he's dragging that paw I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if somebody maybe shot him and he's wounded or what, but uh, the only reason I'm saying is I think they're on to me is uh, right here's where I park the four wheeler every night. And uh, all my sets are out over there. And this coyote come meandering on across here and I mean he's literally skirting the house by maybe a hundred yards so I don't know if they're on to me or what's going on but uh I ain't gonna be out here much longer anyway <laughs> 